In this video, we're going to review suggested ventilator settings for patients in the emergency department who may be in hypoxemic respiratory failure, or ARDS. One of the first things that we want to do is set a predicted body weight. In this example, we have a male, and the average height is about 175 centimeters. By entering this information, we will then know the dose and tidal volume that we are giving this patient. And that's important because we want to use a lung protective strategy of low tidal volumes, which is associated with decreased mortality and decreased length of time on the ventilator in these patients. So we're going to use volume control, and we want to use a tidal volume, again, that's lower than normal. And in a 70 kilogram male, that tidal volume would be 420, which would give us a tidal volume of approximately 6 milliliters a kilogram of ideal body weight. We want to set a higher PEEP. We usually use 5, and in this case, we want to use 10 in order to allow for enhanced alveolar recruitment. We are also going to start off with an FiO2 of 100%. Typically, these patients were already on 100% before they were intubated and then we can titrate down. We're going to use a higher rate than normal in order to compensate for that lower tidal volume in order to maintain an acceptable minute ventilation. Once we've entered these settings and we start ventilation, we can note in the upper right-hand corner our predicted body weight, which then allows us to see in the lower right-hand corner the dose and tidal volume that we're giving which again should be about six milliliters kilogram ideal body weight in order to use a lung protective strategy. Once we've initiated ventilation, we also want to find a plateau pressure, which will reflect the pressure the alveoli and small airways are exposed to during mechanical ventilation or the pressure to hold a given volume. Once we press and hold the inspiratory hold button, that plateau pressure will register and we are shooting for a pressure less than 30 centimeters of water. We want to connect the patient to waveform capnography if that has not already been connected. We want to titrate the FiO2 to a goal saturation of 90 to 95% because we want to avoid hyperoxia. We want to draw an ABG about 30 minutes after starting mechanical ventilation in order to further guide ventilator management. 